What if I tell you, many scientists, mathematicians, and Nobel Prize winners believe that math gives strong evidence for God? Not miracles, not religious stories, but numbers, probability, and logic. Today, you will see how math itself points towards a creator, the strange number problem. In 1979, a physicist named Roger Penrose was calculating the probability of the universe forming by chance. After months of calculations, he got a number that shocked the scientific world, a number so small that it almost means impossible. This number started a big debate. Does the universe exist because of luck or because of design? And that is where our story begins. The Biggest Mathematical Clue – Roger Penrose Probability Roger Penrose, who later won the Nobel Prize in Physics, calculated the probability of the universe forming randomly. His final answer, 1 divided by 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 123. This means a number with 10 million trillion 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 zeros. A number with more zeros than all the atoms in the universe. A probability so tiny, it almost equals zero. Penrose said, The accuracy of the universe is so perfect that it cannot be explained by randomness. In simple words, the universe forming by chance is almost impossible. This is not a religious idea. This is real mathematics from a real Nobel Prize winner. If something is impossible by chance, mathematics tells us there must be intention or design. And design always points to a designer. Many scientists call this the mathematical fingerprint of God. Fine-tuning. The universe knows math. The universe works on fixed numbers called constants. Strength of gravity. Speed of light. Charge of electron. Mass of proton. Expansion rate of universe. These values are so exact that even a tiny change would destroy everything. This is explained in Stephen Hawking's work, The Anthropic Cosmological Principle by Barrow and Tipler, Fine Tuning Research by Luke Barnes, Paul Davies' book, The Goldilocks Enigma. To explain simply, if gravity changed by 0.0000000001%, no stars, no planets, no life. If the proton's mass changed by even the smallest amount, atoms would not form. This is what scientists call fine-tuning. In simple words, the universe looks like someone carefully set up the numbers. It is too perfect. Math says perfect numbers need a perfect setter. The first cause, logic. Why something cannot come from nothing. This is not religion. This is pure logic used by Aristotle, Indian philosophers like Adi Shankaracharya, modern scientists studying cosmology. The rule is simple. Every effect has a cause. A tree comes from a seed. A house comes from a builder. A drawing comes from an artist. Now, think. The universe is an effect. So what is its cause? Some people say, maybe another universe created this one. But then, what created that universe? And again, what created the one before that? This chain cannot go back forever. So mathematics says, there must be one uncaused cause. A cause that does not need another cause. Science calls it the first cause. Greek philosophers call it prime mover. Indian philosophy calls it Ishvara. Logic calls it necessary being. Without a first cause, the universe cannot begin. This is a strong mathematical argument for God. Godel's mathematical proof of God is one of the strongest proofs ever created in mathematics. It was written by Kurt Godel, the greatest logician of the 20th century. He used modal logic a branch of mathematics that deals with possibility and necessity. His proof is scientific and published in Austrian Academy of Sciences, Cambridge University, 
papers by Christoph Bensmuller and Bruno Paleo, 2013. Stanford University Archives. In 2013, two computer scientists checked Gödel's equations using a computer. The computer confirmed that the logic is valid. Gödel's idea is this. God means the greatest possible being. If it is possible for such a being to exist, then this being must exist in at least one possible world. If it exists in one possible world, it must exist in all possible worlds, including our world. This is not fantasy. This is real mathematical logic verified by computers. Math is saying God is not only possible, God is logically necessary. The mathematics inside DNA. Your body contains DNA, a long chain of coded information. DNA uses four letters, A, T, G, C, to form three billion steps of code. This is like a book with three billion letters written in exact order. World-famous scientist Francis Crick, who discovered DNA, said, DNA is too organized to have happened by chance. Bill Gates said, DNA is like computer software, but far, far more advanced than any program we have ever made. Mathematically, information cannot appear from nothing. Information always comes from an intelligent source. A code needs a coder. A program needs a programmer. DNA is a code. So mathematics says there must be a coder behind life. Science calls it unknown origin. Math calls it designer. Religion calls it God. The Fibonacci Code in Nature There is a number pattern called Fibonacci sequence. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13 and so on. This pattern appears in sunflowers, pine cones, seashells, hurricanes, galaxies and human face proportions. How can nature use the same mathematical pattern again and again? Even Indian mathematician Pingala wrote about this pattern 2000 years ago. Modern scientists like Mario Livio show that nature follows this sequence with surprising accuracy. In simple words, Nature behaves like it understands mathematics. Math is not man-made. Math is discovered. So, who wrote the math inside nature? Why many scientists believe math points to God? Here are real quotes from real scientists. Albert Einstein Pure mathematics is, in its way, the poetry of logical ideas. He believed the universe shows a mind behind its laws. Stephen Hawking the universe has a design-like order. Paul Davis The universe seems too perfect to be a mere accident. Roger Penrose The precision of physics cannot be explained by chance. The more scientists try to explain the universe, the more the numbers point to design. The big surprise, math does not work without God. This is a truth mathematicians know. The laws of math exist before the universe. For example, 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Pi equals 3.14159 dash dash dash. These laws work even if nothing exists. Math is universal, unchanging, eternal, independent of matter. So the math itself behaves like an eternal mind. Many mathematicians like Leopold Kronecker, George Cantor and even Einstein believed mathematics comes from a higher intelligence. What do religions say? God is universal, unchanging, eternal, source of order. Math reflects those same qualities. Finally, when we look at the universe through mathematics, one truth becomes clear. Everything is too perfect to be a random accident. The probability of the universe forming by chance is almost zero. 
the laws of nature, gravity, light, atoms, are set with such exact numbers that even a tiny change would destroy everything. This means there must be a first cause that started it all. Jodel's mathematical logic shows that a necessary being must exist. DNA also carries complex coded information which cannot appear without intelligence. Nature follows deep mathematical patterns like Fibonacci numbers and mathematics itself behaves like something eternal. So whether we call it nature, cosmic mind, designer or God, math strongly suggests a guiding intelligence behind the universe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more inspiring content. See you in the next one.